This week's tip is going to build off our last tip of the week, which was how to find preambles in the Federal Register. This week, however, we're going to identify the other key pieces of legislation involved in the rulemaking, and that includes things like the, the public law, the CFR and U.S. Code codifications, the proposed rule, and then any comments that were made on the proposal. And along the way throughout this process, we're going to use a MyHine account to save all of our research that led to that final rulemaking. So first and foremost, I'm going to pull up our final rule, which we know from our first tip in this series was found at 71 Fed Reg 33172. So from our Federal Register library here in the Citation Navigator, I'm going to choose our volume 71. I'm going to insert the page number 33172 and get citation. And that's going to bring us up the final rulemaking here, the importation of fruits and vegetables, particularly untreated citrus from Mexico. Yeah, and this is from 7 CFR Part 319, and that's the part that they were making or proposing amendments to. Now, this particular rulemaking falls under the Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service within the Department of Agriculture, which you see here in the final rule. So now that we have this final rule up, we next want to identify the key pieces of legislation leading up to this final rule, and then also the final codification in the CFR after the amendments were put in place. So in doing so, we could along the way write down all of these findings on a piece of notebook paper. Or we could use MyHine, which is an electronic research organization service which is free to all my or to all Hine Online users. So for those who don't know, with a MyHine account, you can create your own username and password that only you're going to have access to. So only you'll be able to see whatever the saved research is that you put into your MyHine account. Now with MyHine you can save bookmarks which is basically saving a bookmark to an article or any document. And you can even save search queries within your MyHine account. So now here from our final rule in the Federal Register, we want to bookmark this into our MyHine account. So I'm already logged into my MyHine account here. Now if I go above the page and I click Save Bookmark, here it's going to ask me to either select a pre-existing bookmark or it's going to ask me to enter a new one. So in this case we're going to create a new one and we're going to call it untreated citrus from Mexico. And we're going to click Save to My Heim Bookmarks. So now it's telling us that this document from the Federal Register has been bookmarked under tag untreated citrus from Mexico in our My Heim account. So now if we view our saved bookmarks, you'll see here's our Federal Register that we just bookmarked. Now within my MyHine account here, I want to notate that this is the final rule so that once I start adding other documents in here, I know exactly what's what. So to do that, we're going to click Add Edit. And then we're just going to enter a note in here for this particular Federal Register document. So I'm going to put in here Final Rule. Importation of fruits and vegetables untreated oh, citrus from Mexico. Enter note. So now when we go back to our saved bookmarks, you'll see here's our Federal Register document and our note is telling us exactly what that specific document is. Okay, so now we're going to click on this to go back to the final rule. Now, by reading our preamble and the summary information, and if we go to the next page here, we read our background information. We find that the proposed rule was published on March 31st, 2005 in the Federal Register at 70 Fed Reg 16431. Now what I'm going to do at the top here is click Citations on Page. Right now it says Off. I'm going to turn that on. And then you'll notice that that lights up and now it's an active link. So if I click on this, and I'm going to open this in a new tab for the time being, 
but if you click on that link it's going to take you right to that page in the Federal Register. So now here is our proposed rule as it was published in March of 2005 in the Federal Register. So now we're going to go ahead and bookmark our proposed rule. So save bookmark. Now under select bookmark this time I'm going to save it under untreated citrus for Mexico and click save to my hand bookmarks. And then I want to view our saved bookmarks. So here's our new bookmark 70 Fed Reg number 61. I'm going to do add edit and here I'm going to put proposed rule untreated citrus from Mexico. Now I'm going to go back to our final rule here and as we continue reading through our preamble of this final rule we'll see down here a note that says we address the majority of the comments in another final rule and then they tell you where that other final rule was published. So it was published on December 8th, 2005 in the Federal Register, which is volume 70 on page 72881. So again, I can scroll back to the top, turn our citations on page on, scroll down, and again, this is a link that's going to link us directly to that page in the Federal Register. So now we see the other final rulemaking with the other comments that were addressed after their proposed rule. So we can bookmark this document. Again, choose the same tag. And here it is. So now under this one, we can write final rule contains other comments on the proposed rule. Now if you were doing your research and reading through the rule in the proposed rule, you'd know that there were several different citrus products included in that proposed rule. And this final rule up here specifically targets untreated citrus from Mexico, from Mexico, but this final rule here is going to discuss um, untreated citrus from other areas of the world, not just Mexico, and the comments regarding those areas. Um, so you could add that in your notes here as you're going through your research process. Okay, so now the next pieces of legislation that we want to gather are the public law, and then we could include the codification in the CFR as well as the U.S. Code. So I want to take a moment just to pull those pieces of information so that we can add those here into our um, my Hein account so the next time we want to come back to these documents they're already saved for us. So for the public law we want to go search the statutes at large library in Hein Online. Now we can search that by the US code citation or we could even browse by the popular name of the public law. So where did we find the information? How do we know what the public law number is or the popular name of the public law or even that US code citation? Well, if we go to our proposed rule, which we know from our notes here is, is this particular Federal Register document. As we start reading our preamble, we know, we know under the background information it says under the Plant Protection Act, 7 USC 7701. So here's the popular name of our public law, Plant Protection Act, and then there's our U.S. Code citation. So knowing these two pieces of information, now we can go into the Statutes at Large Library. So I'm going to scroll up and under Select a Library, I'm going to jump over to the U.S. Statutes at Large. Now from this library, we're going to browse by the popular name, because we know the popular name is the Plant Protection Act. Then we're going to jump to the P's. Now there's a lot of popular names or public laws on this list, so I'm actually going to do a control F, which is the find function on my keyboard. And I'm going to type in up here plant protection. And that's going to jump us down the list right here to Plant Protection Act. So we see the statute citation is 114 stat 438. And if you click on that citation, it's going to take you right to the text of that public law in the statutes at large. Now in this case the Plant Protection Act is um, 
Title IV within the larger Public Law 106.224. But what we can do here is now we can bookmark this document using Save Bookmark. Choose the same tag, Save to my Hine, View our bookmarks, and now here we have the Public Law. So we can add a note here that says public law stats at large plant protection act title four enter our note and there now we've got our public law saved now the next thing that we can add to our saved research here is the codification in the US code as well as the CFR so let's first look at pulling that US code citation now we know from looking at our proposed and final rules actually let's go to the proposed rule by reading the preamble information that that the US code citation was 7 USC 7701 so what we can do is go to the United States Code Library, go to the search tab, and then search by U.S. Code citation. So we can put in here 7 U.S.C. 7701. Now you can choose the edition. I'm going to use the 2006 edition so that, since that's when all the rulemaking was happening. We're going to get six results here. Now as you look through these results, you'll see there's some supplement volumes and then we get down to the actual volumes here title 7 volume 2 titles 5 to 7 so what you want to do is use your view matching text pages and when you search by US code citation it's actually doing a full text search across the text of the US code for that specific section number 7701 so what we can do is read through our snippets of text here to determine where exactly that section begins and if you're familiar with the US code you'll know that most of the sections begin um, in you know all capital letters and that's a good kind of indicator that it's the beginning of a section so if we look at 1225 you'll see chapter 104 plant protection section 7701 then it goes on to list the remaining sections in this chapter and typically at the beginning of a chapter it has a complete list of the section and the section numbers so if we link to page 1225 you'll see that this is the beginning of title or 7 USC 7701 here so we can go ahead and bookmark this into our MyHine account again use the same tag save to MyHine bookmarks go to your bookmarks here it is we're gonna add and edit a note we're gonna put in here the actual citation and we're gonna enter that note so now the last piece of information that we want to save into this research project is the codification in the CFR. So we know from the proposed rule, after reading through the preamble, that the CFR citation is 7 CFR 319.56 through 319.56-8. So we're going to go to the CFR library and I'm going to go back to my other tab here. Go to the Code of Federal Regulations library. Now I'm going to use CFR citation locator. And we know since our final rule was published in the Federal Register in 2006, we're going to want to look in the next edition of the CFR to see that final text. So if we choose the 2007 edition, enter in our citation so the title number is 7 the part was 319 and the section was 56 click find citation again this is very much like the US code searching when you search for a specific section in the CFR it's going to do a, a full text search but again it's pretty easy as you're looking through the snippets of text to pick out where the beginning of that specific section is in the CFR now as we scroll through here if you don't see anything that looks like the beginning of that section 
Scroll to the bottom of your view matching text pages and use this link display all results. We by default show you the show you 10 matching text pages, but it's likely that there are others. So you, if you scroll to the bottom and use that display all results link, you'll see all the matching text pages. And then again, we can read through our snippets of text here to figure out exactly where the beginning of that section starts within the text. And I'm guessing it's page 365, it says subpart fruits and vegetables, quarantine, notice of quarantine. So if we link to page 365, sure enough, this is the beginning of where it's codified in the CFR. Now we're looking at this, how do we know that the amendatory instructions from that final rule were actually published in this edition of the CFR? If we look at those amendatory instructions, so I go back to our final rule, and we're going to page forward here until we get to the end of the preamble, because after the preamble in the Federal Register, they're going to include the amendatory instructions. So here they are. Accordingly, we are amending 7 CFR Part 319 as follows. And you'll see here it says a new 31956-2RR is added to read as follows. And then the next page will show you the text for that specific section. So what we're going to do by reading this 31956-2RR, Administrative Instructions from Mexico for Processing. So that's what we're going to look for in our 2007 edition of the CFR here. Now this specific section, if we look at our table of contents, Part 319 starts on page 279 and ends on page 453. So that's a large range of pages to search for 319.56-2RR. So here's my suggestion when you get in a, a scenario where the section's large like this or the part is large like this. Use this magnifying glass. Search for, and you're going to search in this section. So what that's going to do is search across this entire part and just go ahead and type in here 31956-2RR and that's going to bring us here if we look, link to page 433 right to that section within this part. So now seeing this published in the 2007 edition of the CFR tells us that yes this is the edition where the amendatory instructions have been published, or codified, I should say, in the CFR. So now we could go ahead and we could bookmark this into our My Hein account, and then we can go add a part, excuse me, add a note here that says addition of Three nineteen fifty six dash two RR regarding the importation of citrus from Mexico. Enter note. So now here in our My Hine account under this single tag here, untreated citrus from Mexico, we've got our final rule, our proposed rule another final rule that contained other comments from on that proposed rule. We have our public law, we have the codification in the US Code, and lastly we have the codification in the CFR. So we found all of the pieces of legislation leading up to the rulemaking and we compiled them into a MyHine account using a single tag so that the next time if we need to quickly and easily access this material for this final rule we'll be able to log into Hine Online, log into our MyHine account and then there it is, all of the information that we searched for the last time we were researching this final rule.